So I've been using this new amazing tool called Trace Journey to upscale my mid-journey coloring pages. And the amazing thing about this tool is that one, it's free and two, you don't even have to leave Discord to upscale your images now. There is more amazing things that you can do with this tool. You can vectorize an image, you can remove the background, you can get the tags from the image, you can convert into other file sizes, you can make quick adjustments, you can grid split and you can magic expand. And I'll probably have to do another video just showing you through those other tools because I haven't really messed around with them. But this video will be focused on upscaling and then at the end I'll show you how to vectorize an image also. Now to start upscaling your chosen image, all you need to do is click on the plus and then upload your file and then click enter. So your images should have already been downloaded from Midjourney. And you can see this panda coloring page that I've already uploaded. And then you can choose the option to upscale. After this, you'll be given the option to upscale your image two times or four times. I always do it four times. Then just give it a few seconds and then you'll be provided with the option to download the image. And as soon as you click download, you'll be taken to another page where you can just right click and make sure you save your image. And here's a quick review just to show you the difference between both of the images. So on the far left, we've got our mid journey image that hasn't been upscaled at all. And the closer that we zoom in, you can see that it starts to lose its detail. Whilst on the right hand side, this image has been upscaled using Trace Journey. And despite zooming in, we can still see that the image is quite detailed and it's not pixelated at all. And with your coloring pages, you always want to be providing your customer with the best quality possible. You don't want to be giving them blurry images. So this is definitely the best free upscale tool that you're going to find out there. Now, the other option I'll show you is vectorizing an image. Now, the two reasons why you'd want to vectorize an image is for scalability, which allows you to scale the image up or down without losing any quality. And then you can also edit the layers of the image. So once we click the vectorize option, you're going to see all of this code. You'll also see that it's an SVG file, which are four vectors. And the file size is only 468 kilobytes, which is awesome as most of the other tools that I have tried makes the SVG files too big to put into Canva. Now, if you want to mess around a little bit with the image, you can put it into Photopea, which is a free alternative to Photoshop. And on the right hand side, you can see all the different layers and you can just move around and manipulate any part of your image as it's an SVG file. However, unfortunately, you do have to eventually pay to use the vectorized tool. You do get a free trial and 10 free downloads, but then after that, you will have to subscribe and start paying. Although I do still believe it is a great option as it's a fast way to vectorize your image and you can keep everything within Discord. Now I do have to mention that this tool is only invite only. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link within the description and the comment section so you guys are able to use it. I'm not affiliated with them anyway, so don't worry about that. So once you have access to the Trace Journey bot, you're gonna see a lot of different options along the left-hand side. You can go to the start here just to check out some of the information available. And then after reading that, then you can go to the video tutorials and it's gonna walk you through important areas. So we've got how to generate an image and convert it to a vector file. Then we've got how to upscale an image from your PC. We've got mock-up tutorial and then you've got how to create a mock-up with a design. You also have an FAQ section for any questions that you might have. And then you can go down to your image generation section to create your images. However, I do not create my images within, within any of these sections as somebody can just steal and copy your image. So as I showed you before, I've been using this tool within my direct messages as it keeps it private and nobody else can see what I'm doing. Now, if you want to do the same, go to the top and click show member list and then make sure you click on the trace journey bot and then don't click on add to server as you're not able to at the moment, but then you can just click further below and just type in a short message and click enter and then you'll be taken straight to the direct message where you can start uploading your images so thanks for watching another video it's definitely another awesome ai tool that i'm adding to my list and if you do have any questions just let me know